TechTales 110, good morning. Today I was at a client's office with a, the intended purpose of setting up the second monitor for that Dell Optiplex microcomputer. I did a video mounting it on the back of a monitor. When I first took that computer to the office, they didn't have the new desk set up for their new staff member. So I'd set it up temporarily on a, on a counter so that I could connect remotely to it and finish the software configurations. Well, now they have that user's desk in place and actually that user is there working as of yesterday, I think it was. And they hadn't called me to set up the second monitor. Well, so yesterday they called me, yeah, we need that second monitor set up. It was already there. So I went out to set that up. They had they had it removed from the box and the parts on the uh, on a table and I just assembled it, connected it. The, the, the new staff person offered to step aside from her desk. She said, let me know when you want me to step away. I said, no, you won't need to. I just, from the backside of her desk, I set up the monitor, connected it. She never missed a beat. She kept working <laughs> as I connected that monitor, powered it on and boom, she's up and running. And, but, but, but what this story is about is actually about the Ethernet connection. This space in their office previously was occupied by another person. This building formerly housed a large company that decided they could scale down the size of their building. So they, 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 they put a, basically a dividing wall that split about one quarter of the space for my client to move in. The owners of these two businesses are longtime friends and, and business associates um, of sorts. But anyway, this particular office space was not part of that original split. My client has since expanded a little bit and wanted this additional space. So they re readjusted some things and put in a new wall, I think, and had to change the Ethernet outlets. When they originally did that, they weren't working. At that time, I just switched that computer over to run wireless, and we had not addressed that issue because there was just one port that it, it wasn't working, and I just didn't have time to deal with it then. So this time with a new staff member, I wanted to get that fixed because I wanted it to be on Ethernet instead of wireless and Wi-Fi. So I had since bought a tester. So I'm going to show some pictures and tell a little more of the story of how that went. And it did not get fixed. <laughs> and we're going to leave it this way. I'm going to explain more, the reason why after I show the pictures. Okay, so here, let's switch over to this computer. Here's the here's their what we call their network wiring room. We don't call it that, but that's where the wires are. So their server you can see here on this shelf, and here we have that's a monitor. Just remove the monitor from the stand because there's no room in here to actually put a monitor that is on a stand. So I just removed the stand. It's leaning against the wall. In front of that is some obsolete piece of equipment. I don't even know what it is. Up here is a couple of UPS batteries. Uh, down here is a backup drive and a keyboard and mouse for the server. But up here above, which you can't see right now, is the, is the, the box, um, the cabinet. So here I'm just showing an angle that uh, gives you an idea where that cabinet is. And then I go up the ladder. Now here I wanted to take a picture showing the full thing and I and I held my camera out with regular front facing camera that I couldn't see the framing. Then I decided okay I have to do this as a selfie so that I know I'm getting the whole the whole cabinet and contents. So up here is the patch panel. This top patch panel on the wall jacks has a white jack and that's for phones. This patch panel has is attached to yellow jacks and over here is the word yellow and here is the word white. Now they could be they could be used differently but that was the intended setup and that's the way they're they're operating so I stick with that. So I use the yellow jacks on the walls to connect their computers to. 
Here's the Avaya IP phone modules. And then here's another patch panel, and only these six down here are used for that patch panel, and they're going to the Avaya IP phone here. Down here, you can't really see that very well, but that is the AT&T internet router. And down here is the switch so for the computers. So all the wires for connecting the computers come up to this patch panel. There's like, oh, one, two, three, four yellow wall jacks in this office space. And previously, with the previous occupant of this office space, I had only tried one of them, maybe two of them. Today, I checked all of them. Now, here with this, with this tester that I'm going to demonstrate in a, in a little bit, Here's a brief video. Now, I didn't do very much long of a video here because there was a couple of them in the room. They were working on something. I didn't want to be, uh, what, an annoyance to, to them. So I just did a quick little video here of this one. Now, this one, this wall jack was not operating properly. In this case, I only had, um, come on. There. I only had this piece connected. I did not have this piece connected to the other side in the in the equipment room, and you'll see that in a moment. And this is just showing something about that's odd about these uh, jacks. And then I'll explain why I think this is happening. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the play button here, and what you're going to see is just two of these lights blinking. And then I show the wall outlet briefly, and I show the other half. So this is showing that's wall outlet 17, and then here I'm showing that this side of the cable tester is not even connected. And I'm getting those two blips. And I think what's going on is that that wall jack is connected to another patch panel in the other business's space. I think when they rewired these wall jacks, supposedly for us, they mistakenly connected them to the other uh, patch panel and and network switch. Now, the per, when, when I first set up a computer in this office space, the person who was wiring those out, wall outlets was there. It was the owner of the other business. He previously in his, in his life had done this kind of work and knew how to do it. But he owns this, this business that has a couple dozen employees in the height of its operation. Well, the, at the time when he was doing these wall jacks, it was COVID. And his business has to do with the travel industry. So his business wasn't so busy anymore. And I don't know, he just got the notion, oh, I could do that for you. And he just went in and did that. And it's quite possible since he has an IT person, a full-time IT person for his business, it's quite possible he didn't even know that there was a separate wiring closet for my client's business. So I think all of those wall jacks are connected to the other side. Now, since this office space used to be theirs, that means they have an Ethernet run that goes through the roof and into the walls and on these wall outlets. So it could be that all he did was connected the wall jacks to the Ethernet wire that was already there and didn't realize where that wire was coming from because I don't think this space was ever used for a computer connection. So that's what I think was going on. So I discussed this with my client today and we decided to just leave that computer running on Wi-Fi because the prior staff person who was at this desk never caused them problem. Currently it's working here. To fix this is probably going to mean running a separate wire and I don't do that kind of work. I know how to do it. I've done it in the past. I don't want to do that, that, that kind of work. So. The, we're we're going to leave it as is. Now, I want to show, I said I want to show you how, how this works. Now, there's uh, this, uh, no, that way. <laughs> there's a couple of links in the description. And those links will take you to Amazon to uh, when, where you can purchase these. Those are Carrie Holzman links. So if you, if you click on those, uh, Carrie Holzman will get the credit for the, the purchase. And... Yeah, the, the one that I purchased 
is right here. The, the link in the description will take you to this one, but it's currently unavailable. So I also put a link in here for this one and it's uh, 10 bucks. Then also over, over here, notice up here, here's, here's another one that's actually la cost less and it looks a little cooler. I have no reason to say you should choose one over the other. You, you probably should read the description, read the reviews of whichever one that you wind up ordering. So here's what how, how this works. It has uh, Ethernet connections on both of these. It also has an RJ11 for phone uh, connections, uh, but I don't use it for that. Then here's a good wire, a good Ethernet cable. You turn it to the on position. There's a switch right here, turn it to the on position. There's a nine volt battery in a compartment here. Plug it in and then plug in to the other one. And then what happens is these lights, oh, wrong side. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. That side has RJ11, that side has RJ45. I'm trying to connect it, put it into a big plug into a small hole. So they're connected there. And then what happens is these lights uh, go down, go down, synchronize. Now, if the wires aren't terminated correctly, if, if they're crossed somehow, that'll show up on here because you'll see a one on one of these units and a two on the other to where they're, they weren't connected properly. So these lights should go down in uh, synchronized with each other. So when I plug one of these into the wall outlet of one of the jacks that I wanted to test in her office, then I took this one, connected an Ethernet to it into the patch panel that has the matching number and no lights, none at all. So that means they weren't wired wrong, it's that they're not connected at all. When I went there today, I was thinking I could find, since this guy had done this work in the past, been a long time, maybe he incorrectly remembered how to do the connections. I thought, well, maybe he didn't connect them to the right uh, terminals on the, on, the, on, the, on the plugs. So that's not the case. If that was the case, then they, they would not have been aligned correctly, but they didn't light up at all which means they're not connected to each other at all. Now, what I did is I connected to one of those wall outlets and then I took an ethernet on this one and I went through every unoccupied outlet in the patch panel. So I went through every one of these and I even went through every one of these to see, to see if he had connected the wall jack to the incorrect uh, patch panel. Now, he didn't actually run the wire. I, I think those wall jacks were already numbered. So I didn't think that was likely, and of course that is, that is not the case. Now here's an example of what happens with a defective ethernet cable. I have a box upstairs labeled defective items. So I, I went up in today and upstairs and tested, <laughs> I think all, Almost all the Ethernet cables I had in there is probably 20 of them that are labeled as, as defective. This is the only one I, I found that actually shows something wrong on this device. So an Ethernet cable can be defective, but the, the pinouts, the, the, it shows continuity on this device. So this do, device doesn't mean that an Ethernet cable is going to work well for you is just showing are the pinouts uh, correctly matched. So here when I plug the two ends on this one, here's what you see happening. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven and eight. Seven and eight on this device both light up when it gets to the bottom. Did I say that backwards? I said it backwards. Seven and eight on this device both light up when this one is on seven or eight, when it's on either one of those, both seven and eight light up over here, which indicates there's a short between those two. So bottom line message, the cable tester helps identify a correct port, 
helps identify that, uh, that an Ethernet cable is correctly wired. You can run this from one Ethernet cable into a wall jack through the building to the patch panel on the other end to test that the pinouts are correct. Doesn't mean that it's going to work right because there can still be other troubles that happen besides those uh, being on the correct pins. So that was today's uh, interesting topic in, in, in my mind. Now there's one other piece. Oh yes, I set up this monitor on the on, on the new staff member's desk, and then I got distracted going to do something else. When I came back, I said, "Is that working okay?" And she said, "Yes, it's it's fine." And I said, "Is it on the correct side?" And she's it, no, it wasn't, but I'm fixing that. I said, you know how to do that? She said, yes. And I, oh, okay, that puts you in the upper percentile of my of computer literacy among my clients. <laughs> she got a smile from that. So anyway, that's all for this. I hope that was useful. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.